So the cardiovascular inflammation reduction trial for me is fascinating because uh, at first sight the implications are here's a negative trial but actually it tells us something really interesting about the biology. We know that the IL-1 beta IL-6 pathway from the inflammasome is implicated on the basis of the previous Cantos study. Now here's a different approach uh, without selecting individuals at high CRP uh, using uh, about amount of methotrexate that was sufficient to influence the hematological markers, but it did nothing. And it did nothing to the IL-1 beta IL-6 pathway. So I think that this tells us that that pathway is crucial in terms of modifying inflammation and plaque behavior. I was surprised it didn't lower C-reactive protein and Dr. Ritker is the PI. So why did Dr. Ritker choose a drug that doesn't lower C-reactive protein to test? But it certainly is a nice trial to show that you can't just use any old anti-inflammatory drug. You have to use ones that meet specific pathways. And certainly with the results of the Cantos trial, the IL-1 pathway appears to be the one to approach. But it didn't disappoint me or discourage me about the idea that directly targeting inflammation can still be beneficial for cardiovascular patients. I think that with each of those trials, we've got to specifically look at that pathway. And we've got to look at the questions of, is the extent of dose sufficient to modulate that pathway in the plaque? Because if not, we may be facing another negative trial. There have been some interesting trials with colchicine already that look encouraging, but they were small. And so I would like to have some sort of direct anti-inflammatory agent that has been demonstrated to help cardiovascular patients available to my patients. And then I'm also excited about the low doco 2 trial because colchicine is inexpensive. It's been shown to be very safe. It's already used for not only treating gout, but for treating other cardiovascular things such as atrial fibrillation and pericarditis. And so it might just fit right in if it becomes evidence-based by the low doco 2 trial. So I'm excited about that. And I'm also excited about other agents that might be targeted now that people know which direction to go. There have been other anti-inflammatory agents that have not worked. And so now we might have some that will work, especially now that we should probably concentrate on the IL-1 pathway.